<sighs> Getting this thing to focus is a pain in the backside. Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. I hope you're all keeping well and I hope you're all washing your hands and keeping safe. So today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about why your hamster could be climbing its cage bars and what could be causing this and is there anything that you can do to stop it? Is it dangerous? Etc. Etc. So if you're wondering why your hamster's climbing its bars, then continue watching. Before we do get into this video, as I always ask you, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave me a comment down below. I'm really interested. I love talking to you guys and getting to know you guys a little bit better. Also, we're almost at a thousand subscribers. I think we've got five more to go and then we're in the thousands and we've got thousands of you guys subscribed to this channel, which is absolutely amazing. And thank you all so much for supporting me in this journey. I really, really do appreciate it. And I love all you guys that have clicked subscribe so far. So yeah, without further ado, let's dive into the video. So the first question I'm going to answer for you guys is do all hamsters climb the cage bars? The short answer is no, but most hamsters will climb the cage bars during their lifetime. The reason for most hamsters climbing the cage bars is actually down to boredom and not having enough things to do within their environment, within their enclosure, within their cage. Hamsters who live in too small of a cage, usually store-bought cages that are no more than 150 square inches of floor space, will climb the cage bars a lot more and hamsters that don't have enough toys in their cage or enough things to keep them occupied, such as burrowing, and don't have enough substrate in their cage will also climb the cage bars to keep them occupied. On the other percentage of hamsters, a very small percentage of hamsters actually enjoy climbing the, the cage bars. They use it as a form of exercise, and most people would look at it as if they were trying to build themselves up for that great escape. The phrase, climbing the walls, is quite literally true in a hamster's life. Hamsters that get bored will typically turn towards climbing their cage bars and this is because they are actually that bored that they are climbing the walls. Another question is, is climbing the cage bars dangerous for my hamster? Climbing the cage bars themselves won't hurt your hamster and it's generally not something that you really want to worry about. But the danger for your hamster climbing the bars is that it could actually cause them to get an injury when they get to the top of the cage. So when they come up the side of the cage bar here, usually most hamsters will end up on the cage roof and this is where they can hurt themselves. Some hamsters can end up getting limbs trapped in the cage bars, leaving them dangling at the top of the cage before their owner even notices anything and they could be left there for hours on end. Other hamsters can hurt themselves when they fall from the roof of the cage and the owner doesn't have enough substrate at the bottom to protect them and give them a padding so they just smack themselves right off that base of the cage and this can cause them to have broken bones depending on how high the cage is. It can also cause some internal bruising, some internal damage as well. Most cages are high enough for this not to happen but it can actually happen. This is why having a lot of substrate in your hamster's cage is a good idea because if they ever do end up on the roof then when they fall down they've got a bit of a padding to catch them. So most hamsters when they get to the top of their cage bar will monkey bar and climb that way but some do unfortunately jump off the top of the cage and others do unfortunately just fall. Cage climbing can also bring up concerns of health issues because there can be some concerning health issues involved with cage climbing. So because of the health issues that can be wrong with your hamster it is advisable to keep an eye on them and keep a close watch on their weight and their overall appearance just in case there's something wrong with your hamster and you need to go for vet treatment. In next week's video, since this is a two-part video and next week's going to be the opposite to this video and it's going to be how to stop your hamster from cage climbing, then I'm going to I'm actually going to go into small detail at the end of this video with this question what can help hamsters with cage climbing or how can you stop them from cage climbing and I'm going to leave the rest of the information to the other video because that will go into depths of how to actually stop your hamster from cage climbing. So what can help with cage climbing? Not all owners want to actually stop their hamster from doing this because sometimes hamsters actually enjoy doing it and you don't want to stop your hamster from doing something they actually enjoy as long as they can do it safely. So the biggest thing you would want to start with is cages. So usually cages cause a lot of problems. If your hamster is living in a cage that is far too small for it, it will start to act up, it will start to chew bars, it will start to climb the bars, it can start to destroy stuff deliberately, so having a big enough environment for your hamster to actually play in is very very important. The minimum cage size is 450 square inches in the US of A and it is 620 square inches in the UK. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go out and get your hamster a bigger cage, something that is bigger than 450 square inches and try this out first, see if it improves your hamster's overall health, see if it stops climbing the cage bars. 
If you already have a big cage, then another thing that I would say is to try and add in more toys, more enrichment, more things for your hamster to do. This includes substrate, so you're going to want to add at least 6 inches of substrate. If your cage doesn't support 6 inches of substrate, you're going to want to find a bigger cage that allows you to have deeper substrate. Another option is you can go for cage without bars. So this is like a DIY bin cage that you can get, a big huge bin cage for as little as 20 pounds, 20 dollars. You can build a big massive DIY cage out of a storage bin. Another option is an aquarium and a 40 gallon breeder tank is actually the minimum that you can go for for a hamster and this will allow you to add so much more substrate to your environment as well. Aquariums are usually highly recommended in the hamster community along with DIY bin cages. So that is all I have for you in this video. If you do want to learn more on this topic I will be posting a video next week about it as well. The video next week will be in order to stop your hamster from climbing the bars and what you can actually do with your present cage and some tips and tricks that will help you discover if your hamster has got any illnesses relating to climbing the bars. But since that is the end of this video, I just want to remind you all to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video, hit me up with a comment down below, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all after. Bye guys.